Well, this all comes as there is new hope today in the fight against COVID-19. Nancy Chen tells us about Pfizer's vaccine that is looking very hopeful. Pfizer says early data shows its experimental vaccine is 90% effective. The FDA's bar for effectiveness is 50%, so Pfizer's shot could get emergency use authorization over the next several days. This is an RNA vaccine, so these are the instructions for the spike protein of COVID-19 that are ejected in the arm, and then the human body makes the protein itself and an immune response is made to it. Pfizer's vaccine is one of 10 possible vaccines in late stage testing as the U.S. hits new milestones. Cases are now rising in 26 states. In El Paso, Texas, the city has now brought in 10 mobile morgues. In Utah, hospital overcrowding prompted the governor to issue a state of emergency and a mask mandate. Utahns may not participate in or host casual social gatherings with individuals other than those in their immediate household for the next two weeks. Alaska, Arkansas, New Mexico, and Colorado all recently hit record daily case numbers. That prompted Denver's mayor to impose a 10 p.m. curfew. Now, new worries of an even larger spike. This weekend, tens of thousands participated in mass gatherings, including here in Times Square, to both protest and celebrate the presidential election results. Health experts fear they were possible super spreader events. Any time when you put that many people in close proximity, you do run the risk of that transmission. The family of John Bjorkman from South Dakota says officials need to ask more from Americans. If I could have saved my father by wearing a mask, I would have done it. And I think most people would do the same. Bjorkman was a school administrator and spent 30 days hospitalized before passing away. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.